So when it comes to Sadiq Khan, he's actually pretty generous. I mean, he's given Ulez to the whole of London. And not only that, he's invited half the planet to just move into the city. But it turns out, and, and I hope you sat down for this one, because it turns out that Sadiq Khan's generosity, is, it, it's just reached a brand new high. Because Sadiq Khan claims that he would offer to pay if he saw a shoplifter stealing nappies from the supermarket. In fact, here's the exact quote. He says in the hypothetical, I mean, that's the first red flag there. Hypothetical. That is a major key word. And Sadiq says that he suspects that he will take his wallet out and that he would pay for it. Like I said, I mean, th th this man is quite literally Captain Charity. We've been wrong this whole time. It, it turns out that he's the top man. However, he says that he would pay. He doesn't say that he has paid or even that he did pay. And he didn't say that he does pay. He just said that he would. So he's literally almost going for the credibility without actually doing the deed itself. But this move is actually pretty clever because he said that he would pay for a shoplifter. But if you look at all of the words he actually used, he hasn't actually done it. It would be, I mean, it, to be fair, it would be just like me saying, oh, guys, guys, if I was a billionaire, right, if I was a billionaire, I'd help everyone. You know, I'd, I'd, so, I'd solve all of these issues and I'd help every single person on earth. So I need credit now. You see, because I would do that if I was a billionaire. So I need credit now. Like almost credit in advance, actually, to be fair, like credit in advance. But if I haven't actually done anything, well, I wouldn't deserve the credit, would I? Like it really is clever until you look at it for about more than two seconds. And he goes on to say that this is a situation that has increased in the last three years with the cost of living crisis, which again is, is actually only half true in itself. Because 50% of the crime that we see in shops, I mean, 50% of it probably is because of the cost of living, let's face it. But the other 50% is just the consequence that you have when you have nutters running around the entire city looking to take stuff from shops. So honestly, I mean, when it comes to this Sadiq Khan fella, I'm not sure what to think. Because one minute he's lying to your face about the cost of living. And then the next minute he's inviting you along to a new version of Supermarket Sweep with Sadiq. Honestly, it just gets weirder as we go on. But do you think that Sadiq Khan would reach for his wallet if you needed help? And would you actually watch Supermarket Sweep with Sadiq? And why on earth? Like, j j why? Just why? Have a council spent almost a quarter of a million pounds on a toilet? So, thank you for becoming one of the 34,056 subscribers. Thank you to the channel members. And thank you for checking out this very, very weird video. This country has gone crazy.